What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing today? Hope you're all staying safe out there. Uh, so on one of my palettes today, I got the Rolo Thermal Printer. Um, I had no intention whatsoever of buying one, but as you know, I need to test it out and make sure it works. So I figured why not do a quick review on it and I might even keep it if it's truly better than the Zebra printer. So you can see this Zebra takes up a lot of space. That's why I have it down here. I would prefer it to be up on my desk, even though it's a mess. Um, but I figured why not try this out and compare it to the Zebra. And like I said, if it's better, I'll probably keep this. Rollo. Uh, if it's not as good, I'll just hang on to the Zebra. I have no issues whatsoever with this guy. It works perfect. It makes shipping labels 10 times easier. And I already have a nice little rig just a pole with a whole roll of labels hanging from it and it feeds perfectly into the Zebra and I have no issues whatsoever, it works perfect. So, yeah, I know nothing about this. I didn't even know this existed until I got it on a pallet. So, like I said, I have to fully test it. It's, it's possible it may not even work, but it appears that all the stuff's there. There's the main thermal printer much much smaller and then here's the power cord that's basically the only things that are in this box oh yeah that is and i believe i just downloaded the software from their website and we'll go from there the only the only labels i use is the four by six i don't use the smaller labels for like fba but you can use the smaller labels with the system. But I just, I just use the printer sheets that have 30 labels per sheet, and that's a lot quicker in, in my opinion, but. All right, let me set this up. I'm just gonna plug her in. I'm gonna get like, I don't know, five labels, six labels from this. And then we'll fold them up and get them ready to be used. Like so. So I'm just gonna test it here on the on the table like this, but it'll be nice and easy. I just use my printer plug. I'll plug it into the power surge I have down here. And it should be a fairly simple test. Hopefully it's really easy to set up and hopefully it just works right out of the box. So the first step is just to go and plug it in. Make sure it's off. And to the wall. Done. Connect the USB cable from Rolo to your computer. You got it. Done. Load your labels in. Make sure the side you want to print on is facing the top. Adjust the really? size as needed. Start at the top. Turn the power switch on. We'll now run the automatic label authentication so Rolo can learn your label. To do this once, unless you change your label type or size. Just press and hold this button until you hear one beep, then let go. All right, so now it's reading the label, so it knows the exact size and exactly where to set it over here, so I can tear it. If you don't want to wait for your labels, just keep. Oh, I don't. So you only have to do this one time if you keep this label. You won't ever have to do that again unless you want to switch to the smaller labels. So let's see if this actually works like she shows. Just feed it through. Okay, cool. All right, and that is basically how you get it to work. All right, well, I just installed the drivers from Rollo.com, basically. Very simple, it's a zip file that you just download, click run, and it basically just installs it for you, very simple. So now it's up here on my, my uh, monitor here. So I'm gonna manage it. I'm gonna do a print test page and see what that does. Hmm. See how easy it is to rip? Not bad, looks like it's nice and clean 
All right, well, that is set up. That was actually very easy to set up. Uh, I just have it plugged on the front of, of my computer on the USB up front, and it installed everything with no issues. Let me go ahead and print a label from eBay or Amazon and see how it prints. And I'm gonna click on the Rolo printer and we'll see how it does for the first, first label. I actually like it so far. Um, I, tomorrow I have probably about 40 to, yeah, probably about 30 to 40 labels I need to print between eBay and probably about 40 to, yeah, probably about 30 to 40 labels I need to print between eBay and Amazon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out fully tomorrow. And hopefully it works perfectly. And I might even just switch to this one just because those lines are so much, so much crisper and the, the black is a lot better. A little bit darker black. Yeah, those lines are perfect. So let me go and do one more label. This one I'm gonna do priority mail where for some reason priority mail ones they they take up the entire label. So let's do that real quick and see what happens. Here we go, let's see how it prints these two. Looks like on my screen anyway, they're full size. So these should look really good. Just a little bit more crisper. Maybe I need to calibrate my zebra, but since I haven't had no issues, I haven't really felt the need to, so. But yeah, so far, I mean, I like it. it. It seems to work out really good. It was simple to install. The labels are very easy to, to plug in. And I have the roll of labels, which I saw a video earlier that you can buy like this little caddy that goes behind it for rolls, and it's only like 20 bucks. So you can put a full thousand label roll back there and you pretty much never have to worry about swapping that out. So yeah, my honest opinion, it works great. Uh, no issues. Like I said, I'm going to try tomorrow with about 30 different labels. If it gives me any issues at all, then that's going to be a problem because the Zebra has been great. Now the Zebra is older. This thing is probably at least five years old, maybe even longer. But I bought it for like 60 bucks and it's been flawless since I bought it. No issues whatsoever. Now this thing runs at about 200 bucks new. And like I said, this is only a few labels I printed, so I don't really know. I'll give you a final verdict tomorrow after I print a good 30 labels. By then, I'll definitely know if I love it or not. And yeah, we'll go from there. But initial impressions, it works fine. So I'm happy with it. I'll update you tomorrow when I print all those labels. All right, everybody. I shipped quite a few packages using this, and I must say it works really good. Uh, it's very quick. It's a little bit quicker than the Zebra, whereas say you have 10 labels you want to print out at once, it just feeds it through, you know, all 10 at once, whereas the Zebra can sometimes stutter and go a little bit slower, but we're only talking a few seconds. Um, and then, like I said, the, the text and whatever is a little bit more crisp than the Zebra. The Zebra I might have to calibrate, which I might look into and if, if it if it does calibrate and makes it look better I'll let you guys know in the comments uh, but I don't think there's a way to calibrate it but I could be wrong so yeah um, personally because I already own the zebra and the zebra printer works fine I don't know for sure if I'm gonna keep this um, I'm gonna I am gonna test it out for another week or so because I got a lot more orders I got to ship out and it does feel like it's a little bit faster overall um, but once again, we're talking a few seconds here and there. Uh, but I've had zero issues every single time I click print, it prints perfectly fine. I do like the size of this, it's much smaller than that Zebra. Uh, it works the same way, I just had the roll in there. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. If I didn't have a thermal printer already and I got this on a pallet or or uh, just bought it straight up, I'd be very, very, very happy with it. No issues at all. Works perfectly. It was super easy to set up. The Zebra was much harder to set up. I had issues with ports and the drivers and all kinds of other things. 
So it took a lot longer to set up the Zebra printer. This was pretty much plug it in, download the file, extract it, and the, it does it all by itself, the rest. And then loading the paper is simple. Um, yeah, I, I like it a lot. It, I would highly recommend it. If you want to spend 200 bucks on something that's smaller like this, I definitely recommend it. But if you don't have that much money, I'd still say this Zebra printer is quite good and I believe it's under a hundred bucks 60 to a hundred dollars used so I don't know it's up to you guys let me know down in the comments what you think if you've used either one of these and which one you prefer I am going to test this a little bit longer and I will let you know in the comments what I decided to do if I decided to keep the Rolo or the Zebra because obviously I don't need both but this Rolo is worth about 150 bucks and the zebras, like I said, 60 to 100 probably. So I could make more profit with this, but you know me, I like, I like newer technology. So, all right, please do me a favor and like, and subscribe. And once again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment. Have an awesome day. Talk to y'all later.